الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم welcome to نحو for beginners lesson five now إن شاء الله before we start let's review what we've covered so far so the first thing again we covered was مركب Okay, and that was a uh, a sentence or a phrase, and then we had murakkab mufid, okay, mufid, and murakkab mufid had two parts. It had khabariya, and it had inshaiya, and khabariya had two parts. It had ismiya, and it had fi'liya, and then um, the insha'iya had ten parts, right? It had ten parts that we talked about, like al-amr, uh, etc. Right? Al-amr, al-istifham, and so on. Now, murakkab, um, ghayr mufid, the incomplete. Okay, inshallah, we're going to talk about that today. So it has a few that we will discuss today. This is what we're talking about today, inshallah. So now moving on, <coughs> the first type of murakkab or ghair mufid we're going to talk about is called murakkab tawsifi, or the descriptive phrase. Okay, basically it's one word describing another. A phrase in which one word <laughs> describes another. Describing the describing word is called sifa, right? So if I say the red uh, the red rose, so the sifa is red, right? That's the description. The object being described is called mosu is called mosuf. So the rose would be the mosuf. Both must agree in four aspects. Both m both must have the same arab. So both have to be either rafa either nasab or jar. Okay, they can't be different. The gender must be the same. Okay. The number must be the same. So if I'm talking about one rose, then I'm talking about one red. If I'm talking about two roses, then there's two reds. If I'm talking about three roses, then there's three reds. Both m both must be uh, ma'rifa or nakira. Okay. So if I'm talking about, if I say, uh, you know, if I say the rose, then also when I when I when I use red, it also has to be uh, the. Okay, has to, uh, it also has to be definite. It has to have alif and lam, otherwise it will be indefinite. Okay. Now the example is rajulun salihun. Now rajulun is a man. It's so. Let's look at the arab. The arab is rafa. There's rafa here. The gender. It's masculine. Masculine. There's no ta. Right. The ta femininity. The number. It's one and it's one. It's they're both nakira. Right. Tanween. Okay. The absence of alif and lam or any of the other signs so it's indefinite okay so they're matching in both now one thing to note is that if this was definite then this wouldn't be an incomplete sentence anymore it would actually be it would actually be a complete sentence why if i write al rajulu remember so it starts with a noun start it starts with an ism so it'll be a jumla ismiya al Right, so it's definite, and we know that mubtada is always definite, so this will become the mubtada. Salihun is the khabar, and it's indefinite, and we know that khabar is usually indefinite, so that will be khabar. So mubtada khabar together will become jumla ismiya khabariya, a full sentence. But since both are indefinite, this will be uh, an incomplete sentence, it will be a uh, righteous man versus. The man is righteous, right? If I wrote Ar Rajulu Salihun, that would be the man is righteous. But Rajulun Salihun means a a righteous man. Moving on to the next type of murakkab, it's it's called murakkab idafi, the possessive. Basically, it's where one thing owns another, and the mudaf is possessed. It's the thing that's being owned by the mudaf ilay okay like if i say tom's book 
So Tom is the mudaf ilay and the book is the mudaf. The mudaf never has al, alif and lam, or tanween. Okay? The mudaf ilay is always majroor, meaning it has kasra or one of the signs of jar. So kitabu, remember, mudaf is the kitab, okay, Zaid's book. So kitab is mudaf, it doesn't have al or tanween, no al, no tanween. And the mudaf ilay is majroor, the double kasra. Kitabu Zaydin. The i'rab of the mudaf is always according to the amil governing it. Wajadtu kitaba zaydin. Okay, now this is a verb. Okay, and this is the maf'ul. Right, this is the object of the verb. And the object of a verb always is in the state of nasab. Right, is mansub, which usually shown with a fatha. Hence, it has a fatha here. Okay. But it doesn't have two because we know that mudaf doesn't have al or tanween. Hence, it only has one. And zaydin again has a kasra. Wajadtu kitab zaydin. Moving on. Now, more than one mudaf. What if a sentence has more than one mudaf? Babu baytir rajuli. Okay. Now, this is mudaf, this is mudaf, and mudaf ilay, and this is mudaf ilay. Okay, so how do we translate this? Now, one dhamma, one kasra. Okay, and why does it have one? Because this is also mudaf of this, right? And we know that mudaf can only have, cannot have tanween and cannot have al. That's why there's only. So this is um, the the do the uh, door of the man's house. Okay, because. Uh, right, the man's house and the door. Right, the door of the man's house. Okay. Now, babul bait al jadidu. Now, what if you ha what if you have to bring in a um, a sifa, okay, into this structure? So how would it work? Uh, sifa is what, if you remember, it's what describes. Okay. So the word new. Now, how do we know? Is this word new for the bait or for the bab? Is it a new house or a new door? Now, remember we said that sifa, it has to correspond in four things. The gender has to be the same. The um, the, the i'rab has to be the same, etc. Okay, so notice the i'rab is a dhamma. And what has a dhamma here? The bab. Okay, so the jadid is the bab. The door is new. The new door of the house. Okay, the new door of the house. And again, jadidi. So what has kasra? Bait has kasra. So the new house. The door of the new house. Okay. Inshallah. Hopefully that's easy. Moving on. Murakkab ishari. Okay. Now demonstrative. A phrase in which one noun ism ism ishara points to another noun. Noun. Musharun ilay. The musharun ilay must have al. Alif and lam. Hadha rajulu. Okay. Um, so, the, what are the, the ism and ishara? I believe we've covered them already. And it's hadha, hadhani, hadhani, etc. So, we'll post a list of, of the ism and ishara on the website. So, again, now this is a, remember, this has to be an incomplete sentence, right? We're, we're talking about all incomplete sentences. So, hadha means this, ar rajulu means the man. So this man is a translation, and all ism ishara are ma'rifa. Okay, hence we have to bring the rajul as ma'rifa, and that's why we put the alif and lam. And remember, because if this is ma'rifa and this is nakira, we know that it's not going to be uh, an incomplete sentence anymore. It's going to become a complete sentence. So right now it's this man, but if we said hadha rajulun, then it would be this is a man, right? Because we made the, the second word nakira and it became mubtada. And again, ism ishara points to another noun, and the no noun being pointed at it's called musharun ilay. Murakab binai, the numerical phrase. A phrase in which two numerals are joined to form a single number. Okay? Originally, a harf, right, a particle linked to two. Example, ahada ashara was ahadun wa asharun okay that's what it used to be but it became this 
This phrase is only found in numbers 11 through 19. Okay. Now, both parts of the phrase will be maftuh except for 12. So in all numbers, right, no matter the state of the word, they always have a fatha. Okay. Ja'a ahad ashara rajulan. Ra'aytu ahad ashara rajulan. Okay. So regardless, it would always have fatha. Now, the second part, <coughs> now what about the 12? The second part of the 12 will always be maftuh, right? So the ashara part will always be maftuh. But the ithna part, it will change. In the state of rafa, it will be ithna with an alif. In the state of nasab and jar, it will be ithnay with a ya. Okay? So, either it's ithna ashara or ithnay ashara. Murakkab man al-sarf. The indeclinable phrase, a phrase in which two words are joined to form a single word. The first part of the phrase is maftuh, has a fatha, so hadara. The second part is according to the amil, right? So we talked about, you know, sometimes we have particles that affect the state of the next word, right? So if we had, for example, min here, min is a particle, means from. Okay, and it changes the state of a uh, of the word. It will change the state of this. This will always be fatha. So min haldara mauti. Okay, it will change. So that is murakkab man al sarf. Inshallah, that concludes uh, this lesson. So inshallah, um, the next video will have the exercise for this. So please do uh, watch that. Jazakallah khair.